café. <laughs> Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi there, Mike Matthews. F episode 2428, 2428. Welcome to the show. Mike's Daily Podcast. Here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. It's great to be here. I just want to tell you things, put them in your ear, and then we talk about stuff that's gonna help you, and it might be a much bit for you to take in in your brain. Thank you for listening to the show today. We're going to discuss some Mike's Daily Podcast. I guess we'd call them in Espanol, Cosas. Is that it? Is that my best Spanish? Mike's Possibly. Daily Years ago Podcast Three years ago Yeah To be precise Three years ago Yours truly Still had his wonderful Precious Loving Dog Basil the Boxer Yes Though His back legs Could not hold them up He was still there And we still had A lot of fun Though I was carrying him Lifting him up by the back legs. Yes, not not two twenty, not 2021, not 2019, but 2018. And actually, it was wait, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, 2019. Sorry, that was that was the time that I was using a harness to lift up his back legs. And just the other day, I was uh, taking a little walk in Pleasanton. And I ran into a, somebody who was, whose little pug had a, like a wheel system holding him, holding him up. And I go, oh, I had a dog that had the same back leg issue. And he goes, you know, this dog is a rescue. We don't know why exactly this happened. We think he may have been abused. But he, does, he just uses the wheels, holds him up, and he doesn't care. And look how happy he is. He's happy and he's picture. making the best of it And we lo- we should all learn from that Right? The dogs Right? And I used a millennial Right? But that's That's uh th- There's a lot to learn And so I'll have a podcast picture Of the late great Basil the Boxer today I think from Benicia I was just in Benicia Yesterday driving through it Rather quickly But yeah it was It was good to see it Rather briefly On my way Because great memories with the late great Basil the Boxer Barking at the waves Enjoying the Enjoying the birds running to and fro Barking at them You can learn a lot from a dog You can learn a lot from a demi As the old expression goes But yes, we had some good times He and I And I think about him Every podcast I'll pop a little thing in there About him Because he was a great boxer I saw something today That upset me There was a story About a pit bull That was threatening a woman And her child And uh, the, the, the woman feared for her life So she killed the pit bull And the picture that they used they just grabbed any picture They didn't have the actual picture of the dog So they saying Pitbull They posted a picture of a boxer That is not a boxer Boxers are different than pitbulls And not all pitbulls are dangerous It's how they're brought up It's how they're, they're, they're socialized Etc That is and it, and it Of course that's the kind of news story That hits the, hits the wire That's my own Way of criticizing The media The drive-by media As conservatives often call it But sometimes those stories Get picked up Because they know they're going to get eyes And it follows a particular trope That reinforces it And so there you go That's but it (laughs) That's always going to be Boxers getting mixed in with Pit bulls getting mixed in with mastiffs and Rottweilers. They're all different dogs. Any dog, any animal can be threatening in some way if if they're brought up or allowed to be that way. It's called the scary world of nature and the wilderness and the wild. 
And wild is in the word wilderness. Okay. But yes, you can learn a lot from a dog. A lot, lot, lot can be learned from nature, from the world that just outside your window that you may be afraid of. Ew, what's out there? Bugs and stuff. Well, there's a lot going on. It's a whole world that you should be privy to because you are part of it, whether you believe it or not. My whole point being that it's very difficult to interview for a job. <laughs> Yes, all that was leading to how to be interviewed for a job. Today I got to sit on an interview, sit in on, not sit on it, but rather was in the interview listening to someone being interviewed for a job. And I found it fascinating. And this person did rather well that was being interviewed. Some quick tips from themuse.com spend a few hours learning everything you can about the company from as many sources as you can that is a common one i hear that a lot talk to friends and contacts read current news releases spend time on google often candidates just look at the information a company is pushing out via the website and social media but fail to look more in depth at what others are saying by doing so you get the larger picture about the company Along with the negative press Don't believe that it's all fake news But you find out about it Get a sense of the who the company is And how to embody a similar personality During your interview Start by reading the company's blog And Facebook page The tone of the company's content On these sites will speak volumes Try reading individual employees blogs To figure out what type of people work At Excel there It's saying here in the muse To basically be a scary person (laughs) that's that's, uh, being a little bit too... Well, I guess you have to observe. But don't be creepy about it. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Twitter can also be an excellent resource because you can see the company, what the company is and its employees are talking about. Will Twitter be the same after Elon Musk buys it, takes it over? We'll see. Are they sarcastically bantering with each other? Feel free to throw a few jokes in as you're meeting with people. Are they tweeting up a storm about an event or a product launch? Use it as a conversation starter. That's interesting. A way to get to know people in the company, apparently, from themuse.com. No matter what the role you're interviewing for... Engineering, sales, marketing You should always use the product Before your first interview If hired Your goal will be to create value For the people who use that product And being a user yourself Is the first step That was something that the interviewer Interviewee Today was doing Was being very much This is what I'd like to achieve This is the the goal That I'd like to help the company achieve And that sounded very refreshing. Before your interview, get a list of people you're meeting with from the company. Then learn more about them, including what type of behavior might intrigue them or turn them off. Perhaps some questions that are specific to each interviewer. Ask for details about their focus at the firm. Discuss current events or bring up a common interest you know that they have outside the office. Wow. This person is really trolling the, cr- the company big time. Make sure you reach out through your network to find current and previous employees you can talk to. They're often your best source of intel on what's really, what it's really like to work there. Maybe that is good for you if you want to work there. If you, is it really a place you want to work at? And finally, the Muse says, different companies... Use different types of interviews So ask what you'll be faced with For example, some companies will ask case questions Or brain teasers While others will give a standard set of typical interview and leadership questions Asking the recruiter or HR contact about the interviewer And what the interview format ahead of time is Totally fair game And once you know, investing time to become familiar with this style Can make a huge difference Spend time anticipating the interview questions. 
have an answer to tell me about yourself ready to go. They don't always ask it, but you want to make sure that you have that answer in a way you think is best. Have, have an answer ready to go. And don't be thrown off by the classic, what's your biggest weakness? One foolproof method, think of something that you struggle with, but that you're working to improve. For example, maybe you've never been strong at public speaking, but over the past few years, you've taken on leadership roles and volunteered to run meetings to help you be more comfortable when addressing a crowd. You can find a list of common interview questions that you can use. But don't prepare by writing out your entire answer. Jot down a few notes or bullet points and keep them on hand for the interview itself. You'll ensure you cover these bases without reading from a script. And it says some other things here that, oh, you want to dress accordingly. Make sure your outfit is clean, pressed, and tailored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess so. Now, nowadays, people are being interviewed more over the phone, so... And get your head in the right place. Brush up on what certain body language conveys. Be aware of what you're communicating through your posture and stance. Make sure it's good. Sitting with your arms and legs crossed sends a message that you're closed off or feel defensive. Think... Your movements through ahead of time so you are not distracted or distracting during the interview. And get some sleep if you can, which you probably won't because you'll be just so. Hey, that was fascinating from the muse.com. Don't know. Don't know if that's exactly foolproof. Yours truly has not interviewed for a job in quite a while, so I don't know. And when I did interview for jobs, I. Pretty regularly did not get them So I don't know But something to think about at any rate We're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Look who else is here Other than me Hello Michael Message Mother Boo to be gone I love interviewing for jobs Woo Wow You have an amazing accent Yes You like to talk to people Yes You like to eat ravioli No What? No ravioli. What? Look who else is here. Hello, oh, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the packing attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, it's amazing day that we're getting really close to elections and whatnot. D. Yeah, elections. Do you know that? I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. Tell us. Tell us now. No. Tell us, Mike. Do you know that? No. I don't know. I haven't even gotten a ballot yet. I don't know what the heck. Ah. Folks, may I just say thank you for listening, even though you're not listening, even though you don't exist, even though you're not there, even though you're not human, even though you're not alive. There's no listeners to this podcast. But if you do listen, you can always call me. Call now. 336. That's right. M.M. Daily. That's right, 336MM Daily. The 3 plus 3 equals 6MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in what this podcast has been for a couple of days now. I would love to talk about a musical act or someone in the music world, but I'm not feeling it right now. I'm not just, I'm just not, um, there was a, a big audio dynamite. Big audio dynamite featured Mick Jones from the band the clash and he did this very electric sounding band and he sampled all kinds of stuff and it's an interesting band now i don't know my favorite was big audio dynamite 2 the globe but it's an interesting listen it's late 80s early 90s music it's alternative it's a little different little little clash sounding but not really there you go. And then listen to some Anita Baker. Because Anita had quite the voice and some beautiful sounds. And oh. Caught up in the rapture. Same old love. 365 days a year. Um, what's a, 
Giving you the best that I got. Giving you the best that I got. I love you just because I love you. Just because, just because I do. And darling, you must have fit the words of help say, I love you, and I love you, and I love you, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's great. So just play both of those albums back to back. Greatest hits. Uh, okay. Listen, everybody. My lovely lady friend's about to show up. I'm going to wrap up the show here at Cafe anyway. So if you'd like to tell me that you are, in fact, a listener and people do listen, you want to change my mind, here are ways to contact me amongst the social media and whatnot. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.